execution videos come out of Syria so often that this one's showing three men described as President Assad's troops being shot in public wouldn't normally appear to be anything new. But the blogger Brown Moses has identified it as a potential game changer in the war. He realised the executions take place in front of a standard used by the Islamic State of Iraq. He's also translated the statements made in the square before the shootings, which confirm the merger of two major radical groups and suggest that the Syrian war may be descending into a full-blown sectarian conflict. Here's why. Several weeks ago, there was an announcement by the Islamic State of Iraq, which is a um, Al Qaeda uh, related group um, based in Iraq, um, that Jamal al Nusra, a jihadist group that had been operating in Syria, was actually uh, working alongside them. And they had actually now merged the two groups into the Islamic State of Iraq and Al Sham. But what's quite significant about this video is it's a very, um, very public event. I mean, the execution takes place in the middle of a public square in Raqqa with a very large crowd. The statement is made in the name of the Islamic State of Iraq and Al Sham. This was the first real time that it had been officially announced and confirmed. And that seems to me to be very significant. It seems to be a very big shift. <laughs> In the statement made in the square, the group say that the executions have been carried out in retaliation for massacres in Al Baida and Banyas, as well as the actions of the Assad regime's forces in Homs. The massacres in Al Baida and Banyas were reported at the start of May, with the Syrian Observatory on Human Rights claiming that up to 100 people have been killed by Assad's forces, with many appearing to have been stabbed or shot at close range. The coastal towns are majority Sunni and Syria's official news agency, Sana, said troops had killed terrorists and seized arms. But a string of grim videos of the aftermath emerged showing the towns devastated and that many of the dead were women and children. Brown Moses believes it's very unlikely that the men executed in this new video had anything to do with any of the atrocities, partly because of the distances between Raqqa and the two coastal towns. He also says that if it's purely a revenge attack on Alawites for killing Sunnis, then we could be witnessing the descent into a sectarian conflict. Well, it is a sign of it maybe continued, you know, the continued sectarian violence. It can, could trigger revenge attacks and revenge attacks could get more revenge attacks. And, you know, this could just call it be, you know, just be another sign of the escalating sectarian conflict in Syria. And that could, you know, that could cause some major problems. I mean, you just need a few small groups to start you know, burning villages and, you know, committing atrocities. And then the other side thinks they can start doing that. And then it just snowballs from there. In the wake of this video showing a Syrian opposition leader eating the heart of one of his enemies, a lot of media organizations are now starting to question whether or not we should be supporting them at all. We asked those very questions in a video we did on the second anniversary of the conflict in Syria. And you can find that there. In the meantime, there are links to Brown Moses' blog in the video description below, as well as his Indiegogo fundraising campaign. And as ever, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more videos.